Hey there, thanks for clicking play. You are just on schedule. We're gonna go over how SLP Toolkit makes scheduling so quick and easy that you'll actually have time in your personal schedule for other things. Now, if you already have a schedule that you created outside of SLP Toolkit, there's two ways you can add it to your agenda. You can add a recurring event from the Actions dropdown or by right-clicking and selecting the Schedule Feature Sessions box. You can also do this by adding a new schedule. Type the name, select a color scheme, which can be customized in the caseload tab, enter the start and end times of your workday and the dates of the school year, and then check the days you see students. If you have a six day rotating schedule, check this box below. This does not apply to those with a week A, week B type schedule. On the calendar, you can deselect entire weeks, but you cannot deselect individual days quite yet unless you have a rotating schedule. Now we're ready to have the scheduling feature work its magic. You'll first want to go through and create service times for all of your students. The IEP service time box is a great reference to ensure you're seeing your students for their allotted time. Fill it in however it's written on their IEP. If this info is already on their caseload tab, then it should automatically appear here as well. This student gets 240 minutes of speech a month, so I need to see him for an hour a week. I can create two 30-minute sessions for him, or I might decide to see him three times a week for 20 minutes. I can define his therapy type, and then I might want to create some additional tags, like his elective period for example, that will help me filter students later on. Go ahead and do this process for all of your students, then go to the Service Times tab. Here you can use the filters to narrow down the list to groups of students that you might want to schedule by. You might want to group students in the same grade or with the same teacher or elective period. Select a time period and then hit schedule. You will only see up to four students in a group at a time, but you can manually add more. If you have any non-therapy events, you can add those by right clicking, although you won't see them on the agenda view quite yet. You can also make any precise adjustments by dragging events or extending them. After you've created a schedule within SLP Toolkit, you can then use that schedule to create new ones for future school years. Simply make a copy so that it keeps all of your students' service times, remove your students from the schedule, and then edit the calendar details to change the name and the start and end dates. Once you receive info on your student's schedule for the year, you'll be all set to start scheduling. And that is scheduling in a nutshell. If you have any questions along the way, please email us at hello at slptoolkit.com.